Hey all, Kurt Sasso here from TGT at Fan Expo Canada 2011. We're here with one of the most talented Star Wars creators of art of all time, Katie Cook, as well as with a, a wonderful fan and family-friendly comic of Gronk. And how are you doing today, Katie? I'm doing very well, thank you. You know, the one thing I, I love about seeing you at these conventions is, you know, your, your wonderful art style, your cutesy art style, if I can call it that here. And you now, how's the fan reaction been to you at the show? Uh, it's been really great. You know, um, I've been really actually surprised. Uh, a lot of what people know me for right now and at this show is Fraggle Rock. Um, you know, I do a lot of stuff with the Fraggle Rock comic book. And Toronto has a huge Fraggle fan contingency. <laughs> it's like everybody is all about the Fraggles here. Um, so more than any other show are the people that want Fraggle sketches and are bringing me Fraggle books to sign. So that's really fun. And it's great to see Gronk and Prince as well because that's, that's a wonderful comic. You know, it has a real wonderful message of uh, a family and, and bringing different cultures together even, or different races in this case. <laughs> well, thank you. No, it's uh, it came out in print uh, at San Diego Comic-Con. That's where I premiered it. So this is really only the, the second show I've really brought it to. I mean, uh, I've been selling it online and it is sold insanely well. And I, no one is more surprised about that than me. Uh, but no, it's I love drawing Gronk. It's, you know, it's a free web comic and the fact that people are, are choosing to buy the book when they can read it online for free is great. Um, I figure they're all keeping it in their bathrooms. It's quick read. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's a labor of love for me, you know, so I love it. And you had a panel yesterday as well. How did that go? I did. Um, I've had two panels at this show, actually. I did a sketch duel with Jill Thompson and uh, a few other artists. And yesterday was basically like me talking about creating kids' comics. And the problem with giving me a microphone in a room full of people is it basically becomes like Katie Cook story time. So I don't know if we actually talked about creating kids comics so much as me telling convention stories. <laughs> uh, every, everything dissolving into something that's not always family appropriate. Uh, but no one walked out with their kids, so uh, that was a good thing. And I, and I have to ask, I know Jill Thompson's an amazing creator as well. We've had her on the show. And, you know, who won the, the duel? Oh, no. What do you want? I mean, it was all in good fun. Yay, everybody gets a trophy. But uh, but I did the most drawings. So I therefore declare myself a winner. And then the, one of the other products you have here is uh, Bleep You Box, which is all about the cats. Yep, um, F.U. Box, as I uh, call it as a term of endearment, um, is a, a small mini book about a cat's inner dialogue. And cats are unkind and swear a lot, and that is exactly what the book is about. So it's basically 30 plus pages of a cat swearing at things. Uh, not family appropriate, but also available on my website. <laughs> you know, this, this is the last day of the convention. Uh, it's great that you have wonderful traffic here in, in Artist Alley. Uh, well, when this all closes up, once you're, you're finally back home and you get to semi-relax and not doing Fraggle Rock or anything like that, you know, what personal experiences are you going to take away from this convention? Uh, personal experiences? Well, one, I'm going to take away uh, from Toronto. This is the first time, uh, one of the nights we were here, we actually went and did some touristy stuff, which I never get to do. We get to travel all over the country, um, you know, in the U.S., and we never see any of the city. And we actually went to the CN Tower and did that and did all the fun stuff. So that, that was like almost like a night off. But other than that, I just know how much I miss my kid. Oh, my God. I'm doing conventions now. How much I can miss something that is pooped on me is beyond me. Um, so I am going home, and I am giving my eight-month-old daughter a giant smooch right on her face. And she's going to go, eh. But, man, I can't believe how much I miss that thing. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time here, Katie. It's been a real pleasure to speak with, as always. And I want to thank you again for coming to Fenex. But I hope we'll see you again next year. Oh, I hope that I come back next year. Thank you.